what the student consultant program does is um, it gives you continuous feedback from your class throughout the entire semester. So you're always working on a feedback loop. You're gaining feedback from your students and then you're feeding that feedback back to them continuously throughout the term. So um, just a little bit of background. Um, the student consultant program, which is not unique to Lingnan, it's actually um, quite established um, in liberal arts colleges in the United States and in Great Britain and now more so in Australia as well. Um, it's part of the student voice movement and uh, Jim and I are working on building up a huge bibliography of student voice work and actually um, Julie as well. So uh, this will all be available to you if you're interested in doing more research or learning more about it. But it started off as um, K to 12 educational practices where uh, kindergartens and high schools in the US were learning to include students um, as agents um, in the classroom. And um, it was creating the sense of radical collegiality where your colleagues were your students and they were collaborating with you um, in building your curriculum and um, building your syllabi. And it was adapted for higher education by Alison Cook Sather, who is currently at Bryn Mawr in Haverford, where um, she, de uh, she developed the Students as Learners and Teachers the SALT program. And uh, these are sort of some of the things that, that um, Cook Sather has written about. She, she has a huge body of work on the SALT program. Um, this was adapted by Ursinus College, which was where I used to teach and is a Lingnan partner. Ursinus College then were invited by us to come over here and help us develop a student consultant program for Lingnan specific to our sort of more unique, I guess, liberal arts context. And um, Vivian was trained by uh, the director of the Teaching and Learning Initiative and her student consultants um, in March of this year, right? So, so there's sort of, we're connected to this um, student voice movement um, now. So what is the student consultant program? Um, it creates faculty student partnerships in the form of pedagogical student consultants. And um, Vivian is one of them. So she works with a faculty partner to um, basically give you feedback on your teaching and classroom practices and the interactions that you have with your students. So this is the process, regular classroom observations, consultation, dialogue, discussion, critical reflection. Student consultants provide faculty across disciplines with feedback from the perspective of trained students who are not enrolled in your course. So you are not grading Vivian, and Vivian is not grading you. Um, she's not taking your class, she's observing your class. And um, she is also not sharing her observations of your class with Jim, with the chair of your department, with anyone else. This is a personal 100% confidential relationship between you and your student consultant. Sometimes me, because I mentor <laughs> Vivian in um, working with faculty. So I may occasionally see your notes that um, Vivian has made or, or the consultant has made with you. But you get to keep them afterwards or we destroy them. And Vivian is, will never talk about them with anyone else. So this is a risky but also no risk um, form of feedback that you can participate in. Okay, so how consultants are selected. It's important to us that students are invited to apply to this program. Um, it's word of mouth, so Vivian knows someone who is very interested in participating in the program, or um, actually Vivian came through us through the rec recommendation of Mike. Um, so students are invited to apply, and we actually go through a um, selection process. The consultant must have a high GPA, must be able to communicate very well in English, and eventually we also hope in Chinese because we will hopefully offer bilingual um, consultants in the future. Most importantly, we are looking for students who are empathetic, students who can think about the other, and is curious about he or she, uh, how, about how he or she is being taught. Um, we're looking for not the best student, 
but the one who is gifted at seeing things from another person's point of view. So that's our number one criteria for um, looking for student consultants. Um, we are searching for students from all disciplines, from all majors. And they are not necessarily paired with someone from the same department. So if you're teaching a course in math, Vivian is an English major, Vivian can still give you um, really important feedback from a different perspective of how your math class is going. And in fact, she can probably provide much more interesting um, uh, notes on how your teaching is going precisely because she's not part of your, um, she's not interested in the content of the class, she's interested in how you're delivering that content. So uh, consultants are paid an hourly wage. They work about four to five hours a week on your class. So this is um, our decision to respect the student's time um, and to make sure that they maintain um, a professional uh, relationship with you. So these are how students are selected for this program. So this is the process, and maybe I'll get Vivian to talk, is that okay? To talk about um, what she does, because there are several stages, um, and we're up to here now, and we have not ended the uh, first round of student faculty partnerships yet. But this is the process, and so maybe you can talk a little bit more about what um, the students do. Yeah. Um, first, we will have some kind of pre-observation discussion, so the teacher can talk about what she's going to teach in her class, or what's the aims, what she hopes the student to get from her class, or what kinds of worries she had, like what sort of things she wants her to focus on. And so I will, if they have some kind of worries, like if students are paying attention to her class or some sort of improved, some sort of method she's uh, a bit unsure of, she can uh, ask me to focus on during the class. And then during the observation, um, basically it's around like one hour and a half to two hours, depends on its lecture or tutorial. And then I would just sit at the back and then uh, type out the form and generally observe the students what they think, like what they behave or if the teachers are, uh, if her volume is loud enough or is if I think the students are paying attention to her, some things like that, uh, about the teaching method. And then I'll organize the feedback and sometimes give uh, Dr. Elizabeth her for some kind of evaluation or correct my grammar mistakes. And then I'll give it to uh, my faculty partner and then we will have a post-observation meeting, some sort of, uh, so the faculty member can also ask questions about the feedback or I can discuss what kind of uh, good that she does and or what kind of things she can try to improve, like uh, speaking volume or activity she can hold more, or I can even talk about uh, she, what she did well in the teaching uh, the lecture and then um, yeah uh, and then in week 10 yeah I'll, after the week 10 I'll also write a reflective letter uh, sort of a conclusion to what she can do uh, or what she can continue uh, what she can improve so yeah Thanks. So basically what Vivian is doing is acting as a bridge between the faculty teaching and the students in her class. And um, talking about student learning, I mean, there's no other expert than the student who has been taking classes. How many years? We've we just got like almost 15 years. <laughs> she has been taking classes for 15 years. That's longer than most of us have been teaching. So she really is an expert at taking classes. And so these notes that she's providing allows you to get a unique perspective from the point of view of a student um, that you may not get from the CTLEs or simply from asking your students in class because they never want to tell you anything because they're embarrassed or there's something going on there. 
um, or there's some sort of power dynamic between you and your class that can't be bridged. Um, Vivian is that bridge um, in this process. Um, so, give you a sense of what faculty can gain from the program. Um, like I just said, a unique student perspective. Feedback on how students receive information on you and perceive you as a teacher. Um, how well are they actually understanding your assignment? Um, when you say something in class, how are they receiving that information? Do they actually understand it? Um, were you speaking too fast that day? Uh, were you not speaking loud enough? These are things that the student consultant can provide you insight into. Um, as Vivian said, class dynamics is something that when we're standing up here, we don't see, especially if you have a large class. And so Vivian, who sits at the back, she's basically a fly on the wall, um, can get a sense of how many students are falling asleep, how many students are checking their, their iPhones, um, how many students are actually really engaged with your class and taking notes, even though they may not be speaking, she can, rec uh, she can recognize their body language. Um, so that's information that she can give you. Um, she can provide you information with, uh, about teaching challenges, how to seek solutions that come up in your class. Why is your class not speaking today? Um, what is it about this one lecture that didn't quite work? Um, Vivian can give you, can discuss that with you and give you feedback and insight as to how students might be reacting to um, that particular lecture, that particular information that you're giving them. Um, there are intangible classroom, classroom dynamics. There are gender issues going on in your class, race issues that are going on in your class, um, cultural differences if you don't speak Cantonese and your students do. Um, your body language, where you stand in the classroom, um, how the placement of the furniture in the classroom affects the dynamics of your class. Vivian is also trained to give you information um, about how to work with those issues. Um, and finally, most importantly for me, I think, the student consultant helps faculty empower other students to take ownership um, of their learning. So this is what we hope you can gain. Actually, this is what I think you can gain. Um, you might find other uh, gains in the program, and so we invite you to sort of uh, participate in the process and share with us and add to this list of um, experiences and what faculty can gain from the program. Okay, so this is what um, the field notes that Vivian was talking about looks like. This is what she actually gives you. This is only a small page. Your notes run about six pages per lecture. Um, so you'll see there's a time of all of the activities that you've done in the class. And then this is what the student consultant brings to this project. She reflects on what you've done in the classroom. Um, so this is an uh, observation of my class. And you'll notice I have some gender issues going on <laughs> in my class. There are no male students speaking in my class. Um, this is what the student consultant noticed. Um, and you'll see they're very positive. The students aren't, I mean, Vivian is not criticizing you. She's not grading you. She's helping you affirm the things that you do well, which is very therapeutic to hear, I'm doing a good job today in my class. Like, no one ever says that to you. Um, but you're, she's also going to tell you about the things that maybe are not quite right. And she's also going to give you suggestions at the end. Um, she usually writes about two paragraphs, if not more about what went really well and suggestions for improvement. And so Vivian might say, I took this other class and it went really well. Why don't you get rid of the PowerPoint and just try talking to your class? Or the class responded really well to discussion. Um, so you'll have almost six pages of feedback per class for 10 weeks of the semester. These are also some of the other things that uh, some student consultants do. Um, this is uh, a consultant who mapped out all of my favorite best places to be in the classroom and then <laughs> X'd out all of the bad places where I should never stand in the classroom because I'm quite short. Um, so I should never stand behind the podium. There was a bad podium and a good podium. So the, good, the bad podium was like the computer was like up to here. Um, and students were just not paying attention to me if they couldn't see me. So she. Um, suggested that this was the best layout for the classroom and I should really stand right in the middle without anything obstructing me. Um, and that was the best, uh, uh, best place for me to stand. But it, this is like one of the things that you remember forever and you never do 
the thing where you hide your body behind the podium <laughs> um, again. Um, this is also something that a student consultant can do. Um, you're getting her feedback every week at the end of the class, but you might want to get feedback from the rest of your class other than the CTLE at regular points throughout the semester. And so we can help you give your class a midterm evaluation. So in the middle of the semester, around week six, um, we can, you can ask the student consultant to help create an evaluation form and then gather feedback from your class. Um, we can also help you do feedback at any point in the semester. Like you can do it two weeks into the first term just to see how things are going with your class. Or you could do it right after a field trip just to get feedback immediately about how well or how poorly your field trip went. Um, so I'm going to get Vivian to talk to you about uh, some of the things that she just did with her faculty partner on midterm evaluations. So I'm going to let you. So we did a sort of midterm evaluation in week seven, I think, yeah. And then the students' feedback are quite interesting and also quite helpful for me and for the teacher. Like, uh, like we have, what do you find helpful? Students lay out that, many students lay out that they enjoy the presentation, uh, the handout she gave to the students, and it's really helped with help the teacher's confidence on whether she should give more PowerPoint or handouts. And I think also I because I only sit at the like left corner and students actually in the right corner they can't hear very clearly and this actually helped me and the teacher to notice that and because it's anonymous we also uh, the students do not have to be afraid to voice out their opinions of it and I think it actually help the teacher to improve like they actually write out they think they need more dynamics to the class and students actually prefer more activities than lecture, the whole time being lecture. And this really helped the teacher to really confirm, affirm that if she could add more activities to the lecture. Uh, and right after the midterm evaluation, the teacher actually gives some uh, new method in her teaching. And in last week, uh, the students actually participate more during the class and answering more questions to her and it give a better atmosphere to the class. So, yeah. so this is an example of um, Vivian helping to give the form anonymously without the teacher in the classroom, uh, collecting the information, typing up all of the comments of every student in the class, organizing them into the three categories. What do you find helpful? What do you need more help with? what needs to be improved in the lecture. Then Vivian discussed the results with her partner. The partner then fed that information back to the students and uh, in respect to their, their comments, changed the method of lecturing and the results were immediate. You can see that in Vivian's notes, that, that, that it was a great class um, after the, the mid-evaluation feedback, uh, midterm evaluation. So um, your consultant, you can use your consultant to do these things in various ways at various points in the semester. Um, so this is what, again, what I think a student consultant can gain from the program, and you may ask Vivian um, later on in the question to answer uh, what she's getting out of it. Um, but what's important here for me is um, that Lingnan students, like many Hong Kong students, are extremely shy and sort of sharing and communicating um, with faculty uh, in general. And um, that quotation there, uh, what we gained was a different way of talking to faculty, is something that I've heard Vivian and the other consultants say um, repeatedly uh, in response to what they gained from this program. And that's really, really important to our students, a different way of talking to faculty um, is a new form of collegiality that they're, they're going through. Um, so that, that's really exciting for me to hear. Um, Vivian's actually a different person, she may not know this, but uh, she's actually a more confident, <laughs> um, more thoughtful, more reflective, 
a more daring student, the fact that she's here simply talking to you um, is something that, that she would not have been able to do, I don't think, a year ago. Um, so that's, this, is, this is what we get, the kinds of students that we get after they go through this process. Um, and also uh, the sense that it's not just for me, it's not just for, for, for Vivian to get something out of this, but she's helping improve the experience of all the other students in the class. So this is uh, a collective um, process as well. Um, do you have anything to add about what you're gaining? There's always a gap between teachers and students. Like we often, like may, we may feel that, oh, the teachers lecture is boring or uh, we talk behind their backs <laughs> because you know, that's what students always do but we never say to the teacher directly or, like what you can improve in the class like because even in the questionnaire sort of things after like in the end of term we often cross out the comments in the back of the questionnaire and teachers can really get some positive or uh, some improvement or suggestion. So I think the student consultant program can really help both students and teachers to gain something out of it. Okay, so what the university gains, and this is sort of what's um, incredibly wonderful, but also kind of what is scary about the, stu the student consultant program, given the current context in Hong Kong right now. Um, democratic classrooms that center on diversity of viewpoints and partnerships. A little bit scary to some people, I would imagine. Um, but but that's, that's what a liberal arts college should be. That's what we're, we're hoping to foster. Um, enriched campus environment and culture. Happier, more engaged students means happier, more engaged teachers. Um, we can use student consultants beyond the classroom to get feedback on some of the larger university um, policies, core curriculum, assessment outcomes. Um, at its very simplest, we can identify principles of good practice. And one of the biggest challenges that, that we deal with in the student consultant program, and I think also um, the challenges I can imagine a university would face, is that we're, we're forcing, the student consultant program forces us to rethink traditional relationships and structures of power and authority. It really is giving students voice in how they're being taught um, and giving feedback to, to faculty members. Um, so this is what what the university gains um, from the student consultant program. 